Mark, the victim's been identified as 60-year-old Carl Banks of Dayton. This afternoon, I talked to the pastor of his church, and he tells me Banks was a great guy devoted to God and his community, often delivering food to the needy, making his untimely death all the more tragic. A bench sign marks the spot where shooting victim Carl Banks' ice cream truck careened off the street Tuesday night. Tire tracks lead to the corner of this house, the scene of the crash. Well, we was in the house playing the game. We had a big boom. So we get up, look out the window, and we see ice cream truck up against the house. The residents inside the Midway Avenue home called 911, reporting the accident. Police, still unaware, Banks was inside his truck and severely injured. So when they arrived on scene, they soon discovered that it was more than just an accident. And the driver of the ice cream truck had been, in fact, shot and killed and had coasted down about a couple blocks and crashed into the, uh, the house on the 4400 block in Midway. Officers are calling the shooting an attempted robbery that could have put the lives of area kids in danger. Investigators say moments before the shooting happened, several neighborhood children bought ice cream from banks. They already lost one life with the driver and anybody else could have been caught in the crossfire. Uh, with all these kids running about, especially when it's a hot day like this, they all want to run up to uh, say hello to the ice cream man and get some ice cream. So yeah, it's very dangerous out there and causes us some concern. Police are still talking to witnesses and working on a full description of the suspect, but here's what they have so far. The suspect is a black male with a tall and slender build, between 16 and 20 years old, last seen wearing red pants. And if you have any information on the shooting or any potential suspects, police would like to hear from you. Just call Crime Stoppers at 222-7867. As always, you can remain anonymous and your tips could earn a cash reward. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.